what I'm doing now is uh, grinding down this uh, piece that's going to hold the carburetor because I need it a little bit shorter to be able to clear the motor in there where I'm going to mount it at. So what I've got to do is I've got to grind this down and kind of bevel it to, um, to fit the uh, bubbler. I got it about where I believe it needs to be and uh, now I still have to put a hole in the in the bubbler but you can kind of see where that's going to go uh, I've got maybe I don't know good if I turned it a little bit more this way I could probably get almost an inch an inch cl inch clearance so if I set it down in there that angle there um, I think that'll work out fine so uh, so what I got to do now is just pull the bubbler out and uh, make my marks on the on the side there and then cut it out and weld it together all right uh, we'll uh, see you in a little bit Wow, I got to tell you, the more I add to this thing, the crazier it looks, and uh, hopefully it works. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, I was thinking that one of the, uh, I was doing a search and, and looking for different posts that, comments and things that people have put out there about vapor carburetors and, uh, you know, negative or positive. And I've been trying to collect them and put them onto the website, and I've got a nice little collection of all the different, uh, you know, conversations going on out there with the GEET and different vapor systems and the negative and positive stuff. But one of the posts I remember reading, and I can't remember who it was. I, I think I know who it was, but I'm not 100% sure. But they said their dad back in the 70s or something um, created something like this and they called him the pots and pans man <laughs> and sure enough that's what this looks like it looks like a a pressure cooker and uh but hey if it works it works as simple as that and it does work we've proved it so hopefully we can get it going on this uh subaru and 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 make it worth um something more than than just being on a generator like we had it but anyway i just wanted to share that with you uh what i'm going to be doing now um I've pretty much got this marked off where I want to put it. Um, I was originally going to bring it around this way and make it flat with the motor. But it got a little too close to uh, my power steering line over there. So what I want to do is just pull it back this way. I still have a good three quarters of an inch clearance between this and the motor by the time it's all put together. Um, and it just makes it easier to access in case I have to unbolt it then I'll be able to. If I put it close to the motor, then I, if I need to take this assembly off, then I'll have to take the whole um, bubbler out. Uh, all right, so that's it. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, cut a hole on the side. And my goal here is to get, I don't know, maybe two inches of gas in the bottom of this, maybe less. And then when I put the screen in, uh, it'll bubble through it. And I'll show you all that in, in more videos to come. But, uh, but I think that's about where we're going to put it, right there. Alright, so I've got to cut some holes in it and weld that piece on. I'm going to tack it and then put it back on there and make sure that everything fits. And then i got some final welding to do on some of the other stuff. Um, and then clean it up and hopefully get a paint job on it. Well, I've got to do some testing to it first before I do all that, but... Uh, yeah, we're getting there. It's slowly but surely, but we're getting there. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Got 
got a hole cut out. Next is just uh, welding that on there. So uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, I got it tacked on there, and uh, everything lines up just perfect. So uh, we just need to put the finish weld on it, and then clean it up, and uh, well, we'll see you next one. 